Hi guys, welcome to another video from the Drone Centre. So today we've had a very interesting day of product launches. We have the new Matrice 30 series. We also have the drone in the box solution, a flight of two, many things to talk about. So today, I'm interested in the M30T and the M30 series. Now this is very interesting because it throws a new product line into the range of DJI products. Previously, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and the DJI Matrice 300 series were the two sole drones for their main mission of survey and also inspections. Now with the new Matrice 30 series, there is now a new opportunity to have a more compact system which offers the portability of the Mavic series, but also the capability of the Matrice 300 series. If you're looking for a system for survey, then the Matrice 300 is still the tool of choice. Multiple payloads, multiple configurations, longer flight time, and also a better payload capability for future compatibility. The Matrice 30 series is a fantastic uh, inspection drone. So if you're looking for real-time data, if you're an emergency service, or if you're simply looking for on-site on uh, data inspection, thanks to the uh, multi-sensor payload, then this is going to be a tool of choice for you. And also because it's more compact, it might be better for your operations, for transportation. Okay, so for all about you surveyors out there, what benefits will the system give you? Well, if you're using it in lower lights, this system offers a much sharper, crisper display in low light conditions, which is ideal for those that are more conscientious about the temperatures in this region. So typically, you may find that with the plus 50 degrees Celsius summer heat, you might not want to use it during the day. Use it at dusk or dawn. With these low light sensors, you can use it anytime during the day now without any worry or effect. So some of the main features of the Matrice 30 series, why should you choose this over the Matrice 300? Well, you have a new RC remote control. Now this system is designed to be far more intuitive for operators. So if you want to have fast input, you have now six buttons either side of the high luminous display, which is in high definition as well. The system also has removable antennas, which is better for storage and transportation. Also a 4G dongle connection, which is ideal for those wanting to use wider communication tools and also hot swappable batteries, giving you up to six hours of continuous use. And if you want further use, swap the batteries out. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, so the drone is IP55 rated. What about the remote controller? Well, it's IP54 rated. You can use it through any weather conditions, whether dusty, sandstorm, rainy, any conditions you throw at it, this system will work flawlessly, which is great news. Now also, DJI have incorporated the new Pilot 2 software. So what does this mean to you and I operating drones? Well, this predominantly means you're going to have a much slicker interface. All your controls, your telemetry are far easier to understand, better for novices or people who are looking to get more from their data sets. So this is great news. Right, so this is the one everyone's talking about and it got us excited over at the Drone Center. So the DJI Dock is something that has not really been seen by a major manufacturer to date. What this allows is it allows you to use the DJI Matrice 30 series fully autonomously and fully programmable in 30 minutes from start to finish. Now using in combination with the DJI Flight Tip 2, you can set, program and create flight plans so the drone flies completely autonomously. Now if you're looking for autonomous operations, the Matrice 300 series may not cut the mustard. If you're wanting a system where there is minimal human interaction, this platform is ideal for those types of clients. So we can see this transform the market in the next two to three years. And we'll see this come about from quarter four, 2022. So we'll keep you up to date over any changes, any design implementations that may transform this platform as time progresses. Okay, so next in the range, DJI have launched Flight Hub 2. Now this is great news for people wanting to use multiple drones and use those drones at different sites across the region. So say if you have up to six drones, six pilots operating in different locations, Flight Hub 2 will allow you to operate those drones simultaneously. And what also this means is you can stream that data, you can record your media, and then you can preserve and use that data for better evidence gathering. 
You can post process, you can also share that data with any of your team using any device, whether this is a laptop, it could be a tablet, it could be a mobile phone. This is a really smart move from DJI. So we're very much looking forward to trying that hour end as well. Anyway, just to wrap up the enterprise update from today, a very exciting day at the Drone Centre. If you're interested in learning more about products, do get in touch with myself. I am the Head of Sales at the Drone Centre, my team as well. And we very much look forward to speaking to you in the next episode. Thanks now, bye-bye.